I just made a video ranking all of the worlds in The Sims 4, and doing that kind of reminded me just how much I like Sulani. I don't really play there very often, so I think I just kind of forget about it sometimes, but honestly, I feel like it's one of the better worlds in the whole game. It's just really cool, and we don't really have anything else like this. The fact that you can live on the water is such a fun feature, and I really do not use it enough. So I was thinking that today we could maybe build a starter home in Sulani, mostly just to give me an excuse to play here, because if I've got a fancy new house, then I might as well make a save that uses it, right? I'm kind of torn between this lagoon look lot and this pure perfection one, but I think I'm leaning towards this one, just because it's closer to the other community lots. I feel like there's just more going on around here, there's more sims around, there's like more events happening and stuff, and I think for this build, I want to use just the base game and island living. I don't really use island living build stuff all that often, so I'm gonna try to really embrace it with this one. There's some really nice, bright, and colorful stuff in this pack too, so we can try and use some really fun colors. Oh no. Every time I make a Sims build, it ends up being blue. In my defense, there's three blue swatches on this wallpaper. Three of them. That's not my fault. There's a reason I make a lot of blue suburban houses, and it's because the Sims gives us, like, all blue items. No, I am doing everything in my power to have this house not be blue, okay? I'm gonna try so hard to make it anything but blue. I might have to have some blue accents, though, because it is a beach house. No matter how hard I try, I just can't escape it. I go all the way to Sulani, I make a beach house, and it's still a blue suburban. A lot of the houses in Sulani kind of have this sort of style to them. Oh, and there's some kind of cute little details like this that we can use. I don't know if I want to do a metal roof or a thatched roof. I do like the color on that, though. And the thatched roof from Island Living has really, really nice swatches, because there's like an underside to it. Unlike all the other roof textures where it's just like a weird plain gray, these Island Living ones actually are painted on the underside. And I think that this orange looks really weird with the roof color. Uh-oh. I think the reason I don't like the yellow is because it almost is like the wrong shade. It's like a little bit too green toned for me. You know what? The orange with this dark darker roof is a little bit better. I think that'll work. I'm gonna do some simple windows and doors in the front and this cute little metal overhang. Unfortunately, this metal overhang also comes in a lot of blue swatches, but I think if we did like blue and orange together, it would be cute. Maybe something like that using the blue as an accent color. Unless we wanna go for a slightly more rustic look because I do like this fence too. All right, I think this is sort of starting to come together. I did forget that I was making a starter home and I spent probably way too much money, so I need to kind of calm down a little bit here. I just realized I had only 10,000 left and I was like, oh no, <laughs> that's not good. I think I want to put a sliding glass door in the back, but that kind of complicates things because I don't know how to do the bedroom layout, unless the whole back is just the bedroom. I guess that could work. We could have a big bedroom back there, a bathroom here, and then maybe the kitchen could be on this wall. I don't know. We have some kind of cool sliding doors that we can use also. Look at how fun that is. Do I use that in the bathroom as well then? I guess. How much do these windows and doors cost? Okay, this is only 30. That's fine. We can use that little tiny window in the bathroom. I'm gonna put a big deck in the back of the building. Deck. I said deck. Oh no, can I afford fences? 72. That's not too bad. How much was this again? Because I kind of want to use it in the back here too. 150 each. Oh my gosh. <laughs> these lights are 170. Oh no. We're gonna have to start being really careful. I'm spending way too much on the outside. Maybe I can just put some lights by the door back here. We'll have these torches in the front instead of a porch light. Okay, we had talked about doing this back wall as the kitchen. Oh my god, <laughs> it does come in orange. It sure does come in orange. Probably not gonna use that. We can get like cheap kitchen appliances. There is a cute shelf. These I don't think are, well, they're 230 simoleons. I guess they're not that expensive. Definitely could be priced worse. And I do like how that looks. Except now I have 5,000 simoleons left. Oh no, okay. This bed's only 790. Maybe I'll just get one nightstand. I kind of want to get a dresser and a desk. I don't think this is laid out in the best way. <laughs> I don't think it's like that cute. Maybe the dresser could go over here. I guess the door's gonna get in the way though, huh? Bed could go over here and the desk. Oh, that's laid out all right. There's plenty of walking space. Got a dining table. And then I guess we'll put some sort of living room. Oh my God, it's too expensive. Okay, we'll do a couch, a chair, this thing, and then a small TV. Okay, that's fine. Oh no, it's not fine. I forgot I haven't paid for a bathroom yet. <sighs> 
Okay, actually it's completely and totally not fine. <laughs> Never mind, things are not fine. Maybe we can't have a computer. I've got a tub, toilet. There is stuff from Island Living, but it's like one very expensive. That's 260. There's a matching toilet, but it's also expensive. Look, this one, this has Island Living swatches, but it's 755. I can't have a 755 simoleon toilet in this bathroom. I guess I could. What if it wasn't like a starter home and it was instead a two sim starter home. Well, it's only worth 16,000. So I could give myself some more money, technically. And then it'll be worth 18,000. And that is still technically a starter home. Oh my god, <laughs> this tub is so expensive. Is that worth it? I think that I'm making very poor choices right now. I'm spending all this money on the bathroom and we don't have anything else. So probably not worth it actually. Maybe not. Let's just do a normal, normal starter home bathroom. Simple stuff, reasonable spending. There is no reason for us to do anything ridiculous. And now we actually have money for things like rugs and stuff, which I would very much like to have. I feel like that's kind of a good swatch. Maybe I could use that rug and then perhaps this couch and that chair. There is a painted version of the table. I'm not sure if that's a good idea though. We have this cute fruit bowl, 270. I keep thinking that it's fine and then I realize it is absolutely Absolutely not fine. Okay, I'm gonna put a window here. It probably wouldn't hurt to have a window over here above this TV either. We can't afford wall decor and these are only 50, so that's easy. On the patio, we need to get a couple lounge chairs. They're only 80 simoleons, which is totally fine. I can use this kind of blue swatch on the table. Oh look, that's got kind of the blue and orange that we're going for. 305, Never mind. I was gonna use that plant, but it's too expensive. There's a base game big plant that we could use instead. Like this one's only 75. Has the same palm tree vibes, just in a cheaper way, which is what we need. I bet I could use that in the living room also. Oh, there you go. One thing I definitely, before I get too ahead of myself, I'm gonna paint the walls in here because I have forgotten to do that. I hate how this bathroom looks now. Oh no. Should we do tile? Oh, this probably could work. I think I like how that looks together. These lights are 205, so I don't know if it's worth spending for them, but I do like how it looks. Maybe we could get a ceiling fan too. 125, oh my gosh. All right, it's fine. I think the ceiling fan is realistic. It's definitely hot in here, so it'll be nice to have that. I do like that swatch the best also. All of this stuff is so expensive. Maybe debug could work for us. If we look in the debug things, I think that there's pictures, like ocean pictures from Island Living. Oh, they're 200 simoleons though. Oh, oh, there's fish. We could put a fish above the bed, that's free. Maybe a fish or two here on this wall also. I think I'll put the kava bowl here on the table because it's cheaper than the pineapple thing. Thing, and then it's useful because it's like an actual gameplay feature. We do need to get a trash can. I might only put one outside and just not add one inside. I want to like these underwater photos, but they also have a black frame, which doesn't really match anything anyway. Maybe I can do some books on this table because then your Sims can read. Yeah, this bedroom, listen, it's sad. <laughs> There's not a lot going on. It's not the nicest. We can't even afford another rug. So I'm kind of at a bit of a loss here. I guess I could get rid of one of these above the door. That gives us an extra 150. And then I can afford a rug underneath this table. So that gives us some more color. Maybe I'll do a little window above this desk. We have 42 simoleons left. Okay, good. This is where debug comes in because I'm gonna have to do some free landscaping because I am out of money. Luckily, there's a lot of really nice options of landscaping in Island Living. There's like so many nice flowers and trees and things. So we can really make it look very lush as we're doing this. I want a palm tree. Come on, surely there is a free palm tree for me. Oh, this one's kind of cool. Maybe I could size it down. Oh, that definitely helps. Okay, we can use that. Maybe something like this. I will put the mailbox here. We can try and hide the trash can behind it all. We have these kind of cool stoned pathways from Island Living too. I'm pretty sure your Sims can walk on top of that, but I'm gonna test it quickly just to make sure. Stanley, come here. Oh yeah, that's totally fine. You know what? This looks really good. It's also lagging a lot. Hello? Uh-oh. Let me try and go in and out of build mode. I don't think it'll make a difference. No, usually opening the menu helps. I really don't need you to lag right now. I was having fun. This is really, okay, sorry, it's fixed. <laughs> okay, I was a bit dramatic just then, but it's fine. If there's one thing about me, it's that I'm gonna be dramatic. All right, no one's surprised by that. <laughs> Maybe I could get a beach towel. Oh, the towels are only 20. Oh, we could put two. We could have them laid out for your Sims. Maybe I'll put the 
lights over here and then we could get a couple cute colors on these beach towels. That is the full extent of the rest of the money that I had though. And uh, that leaves us with two simoleons to work with. And I don't think that we're gonna be getting much done with that two simoleons actually. I really like how this house turned out. It's a nice place. It's only one bedroom obviously, but I feel like this has room to grow. If you wanted to add an extra bedroom over here, you probably could. We've got a nice patio and obviously it is kind of made by the fact that you can swim in your backyard. Annoyingly, I don't know when the lighting is gonna get better. I don't think it does. Let's check. Oh, the afternoon's a little bit nicer. It's just always in the shadows. It looks beautiful from the back. <laughs> like this angle is nice. Let me try and put a little bit of terrain paint down because that part at least is free. We can try and make it a little bit darker underneath the house. But I think after that, I'm not sure if there's much else that I can physically do. I really like the fish that we have. I think that's a nice touch because those are free and then it makes it look a little bit more lived in. Kitchen's functional. We have a bunch of chairs. I actually probably could do just two dining chairs, but I don't like how that looks. And in the end, the house cost 17,998 simoleons. You've got everything you could possibly need. It's one bedroom, one bathroom, and it is certainly ideally situated on the gentle shores. Yeah, this is a nice place to live. Let me just add a couple hashtags. I don't know, beach, Sulani, Lil Simsy. Hopefully that helps you find it and I'll put it on the gallery for you. And hopefully you like this video. I kind of have fun doing this sort of thing. I don't usually build here, so it was nice to come over and hang out. I like the roof line a lot and I think the color scheme's fun. Just a quick video because I'm currently pre-recording because I'm going to VidCon this week, so I have a lot going on. If you're gonna be at VidCon, hopefully we can say hi to each other. I look forward to maybe seeing you there and I'm gonna post pictures and things on Instagram, so follow me over on Instagram too. Thank you for watching and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow, okay? Bye everybody. I love the landscaping that comes with Island Living. Honestly, it's some of my favorite plants in the entire game. They are all so good.